So today um, we're going to continue on to station three where we'll be talking about plate tectonics. So you're going to click here for your practice assignment and make a copy. Once you do that, your assignment is going to look like this. And as you can see, we're going to be talking more specifically about the plate boundaries and what is a land feature that is an effect from that plate movement or that plate interaction. So what I've, I've done on my table is I went ahead and wrote my keywords to help me remember what's happening at a divergent, convergent, and transform boundary. Divergent boundaries divide, so the arrows will be pointing away from each other like here. Okay, so you will just drag and drop that image in the direction of plate movement. Okay, I did convergent means to collide, so the arrows will be pointing toward each other, and the plates are moving into each other. The type of land feature that's going to be determined depends on what kind of crust is colliding. If you have continent or land, land and land crust colliding, you're going to get folded mountains, like the Himalayan mountains. If it's continent and ocean crust colliding, the ocean crust is far more dense. So what's going to happen is this process called subduction. And when the oceanic plate subducts or sinks below the continental plate, you will have something, several things created. You'll have volcanic mountains. You'll have a trench. Um, and that's just if it's land and ocean. When it is ocean and ocean colliding, the process of subduction also occurs. So you will also have a trench. But instead of big mountains, you're going to just get an island. And it'll also contain volcanoes. So where subduction happens, you always get a trench. You always get volcanoes. If it's land, you'll get volcanic mountain ranges. If it's ocean, you're going to get an island or an island arc, like Alaska and the Aleutian Islands. Um, finally, you have transform. Transform boundaries are where two pieces of crust are sliding past each other, using a lot of force and creating a lot of friction. And this causes major, major earthquakes. There is a famous fault line in California, and they have based several movies off of it. So once you have identified the direction of plate movement, the geographical feature formed, so for divergent, you will get a ridge or a rift. A ridge will happen if it's ocean plates dividing. A rift will occur if it's continental or land plates dividing. And then you're going to uh, select the real world example. So for a divergent boundary, um, a real world example of a mid-ocean ridge is going to be the mid-Atlantic ridge. And a real world example of the Rift Valley would be Iceland or the Great African Rift Valley if those were options. Once you complete this table and you look at your activity sheet, you're going to restate the direction, the geographical feature formed, the real world example, and the code. And to get the code, all you need to do is add the numbers in each row. So for divergent, it's 6 plus 1 plus 2, which would equal 9. So I go to my activity sheet. I go to my activity sheet, and I'm going to type in the number 9 here. Okay, um, divergent, you can type it. I like to enter shapes. So I'm going to draw a couple of arrows. There's one arrow. And then I'm going to add another arrow that's going the other direction. Only I did that wrong. Um, so for a divergent boundary, your arrows should be pointing away from each other because the crust, oceanic or continental, is dividing. And that creates your ridges and your rifts. And your example depends on if it's an ocean ridge or a land rift. If you have any questions, please reach out to us or join our Zooms.